Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to a new Iron Man episode. So on the last kill of my Reaper assignment, you can see in the chat I completed 80 Reaper assignments overall and I got 30 points for that, which is really cool. We're currently at 258 Reaper points by the way, so we need, uh, how much is that? 42 more to be able to buy a Reaper necklace, which is really good for a Raxor, so I'm really happy about that. But on the last kill we get two Sovereign scales and the drops before that wasn't very great. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We're getting closer to having Sovereign legs, but I'm probably going to keep doing Araxor for a bit. So yeah, let's see if I get anything else. If the next slip is Araxor, then you know I got something cool. So for the past day, I've just been fishing K-fish, and I think the amount of K-fish I've got today is going to be absolutely enough to do a bunch of Araxor. I only had 90 left, so I felt like, yeah, I'm just going to do a fishing day today, I'm going to get that out of the way, and then I have enough supplies to do Araxor for a long time. So I'm just going to end it here, and I'm going to go to the bank and just show you guys how many raw I have. So today I got 853k fish, and if I cook those, I'll probably end up on like 820 or something. As I said, they don't really burn that much. Also, I realized I have 240 rock tails, which I'm not sure where I got them. I don't know if Araxo drops rock tails. I don't even think so, but I think that might have been from QBD kills. But, I don't know, no idea, I don't know where I got these, maybe daily challenges, I do those sometimes, I can't remember, but they're going to be very good to a user on, on a Raxor, and also I think I should be able to cook these uh, raw rock tails soon, so, I'm going to cook all of these, and then I guess I'm going to get back into a Raxor again. Alright, so this is actually like the third kill on the trip, and this is the first interesting loot. 15 Saradomi flasks is actually quite a lot, I'm running kind of short on them, so that is an awesome drop, and two Onycot Onyxes is obviously very good. I'm soon going to have to use them, not for alking, but rather uh, repairing my Amulet of Souls and my Death Touch bracelet. It's currently at 59%, and I think when it goes just below 50%, I'm going to repair it, so it goes up to like 99 point whatever, you know, percent. So anyways, I'm going to do a couple of more kills, and if I get anything cool, I'll show you guys. I mean, not that interesting, but Triskelion Fragment number 2, so if I get one more, I get a free Elite Clues Girl, which is pretty cool to do, so I'm not going to bet chance those, and also the Saradomi Flask is pretty sweet. As the Raxor didn't want to give me any of the leg pieces or hilts or anything like that, I just thought, screw it, I'm just going to do some quests, and I thought, you know, I've already started the Fairy Tales questline, so I think I'm going to try to finish it, so I just now finished the second part of the Fairy Tales, it's very easy to do, I don't know how the third part is, I've never done the third part, I've only done the first part ever in my life, so yeah, this is new to me, and it's quite funny actually, it's quite fun to do. So two quest points, so we only need eight more to be able to do while Gothic sleeps, and that's kind of why I want to do this, just to get points to be able to do that quest. How much is this? Okay, that's kind of weak, but alright, I'll actually put that in farming, I think. Alright, I'm 58k of 70, but yeah, it's getting closer anyways, so yeah, let's uh, do the third part. The third part was a bit longer to complete, and we're going to be completing it now, but I felt like it was a nice quest, I kind of liked it overall, and it does give two quest points, which is really good. We only need six more now, so I might actually just look for a quest that gives a lot of quest points, and we can do while Gothic sleeps, it's the last requirement we have for that quest, which is really sweet. And I would like to try to kill some tormented demons, even though I have heard they are a pain in the ass to kill, but you know, I've never killed them before, and I guess the first impressions of it is always cool um but yeah also got the water uh, magic watering can which i saw a lot of you guys talk about in the last video saying it's very good to have so now i do have it and you know 11k farming experience and not that great but it's pretty cool like i mean uh 11k farming experience is a lot if you think about it because an iron man doesn't really get seeds that easy so i guess that's not too bad so i'm going to accept that and uh, yeah that's all the quest lines completed in the fairy tales i think i don't think there is a fourth one Maybe there is, I don't know, but I think there isn't, so we're pretty much done with that quest line, and I felt like it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm actually currently working on the Giants and Dwarf quest, and I'm actually in the end of it, but it seems to be maybe bugged. It's just so weird that, like, an old quest can bug, so that's why I don't think that's the case. Maybe it's just me being stupid, but, like... Okay, if you've done this quest before, you have to like do uh, tasks and you have to hand them ores or bars to the guys upstairs and after you've done it uh, enough times, they will say, okay, fine, you can join our group or whatever. And I talked to this guy right here and he's like, yeah, you need to talk to the consortium and he says, yeah, they haven't made a decision and that's it. And that's what he says I need to do, like um, needs an answer from the consortium, right? So I go up here and by the way, I've been trying this for an hour now and it still does not work and I can't see 
any other solution to it. I mean, there is no solution to it. So I talked to this guy, right? And uh, yeah, he just says some random stuff and I say I need to talk to the director, which is the guy I was like doing quests for whatever. And then it says, but I've come here for, you know, the guy I was just talking to. And he just says, no, I cannot let you do that. When I talk to this guy, which is the guy I'm supposed to talk to, he just says nothing. So I'm not really sure what to do. The guide says like, yeah, you should just be able to talk to them. But apparently I cannot. So I don't know what to do. I might have to just delay this. It just really sucks because uh, the thing is I wanted to do the giant dwarf quest. And then after that I can do uh, another slice of ham, which would be right there. And there you go. That's the giant dwarf quest I need to do. And uh, yeah, it, w it seems like a really easy quest. This one as well and gives one quest point. And this is going to give me... Actually, I don't know, maybe one or two. I don't know how much the giant wolf quest gives, but I'm just at the end of it, and it just sucks so much that it seems to be bugged. So I'm just going to try to read even more into this, but I've been trying for an hour and it doesn't seem to work. So you will have to see in the next clip what happens. Hopefully, I'm done with the quest. You know, I think Broke Belly from my clan chat actually put it the most perfect way possible. If you talk to him too many times and deny his tasks, he tells you to fuck off and you have to talk to the other guy again. Yeah, that actually solved it. So the reason to why I had to do everything all over again and it just reset is because I was talking to this guy right here and I was taking his tasks but I actually didn't click I'll take the task and I just assumed it was done and I went to get the items and then he just gave me a new task and I was like why the hell does it keep changing and after doing that enough times he just told me to get the hell out of his place and yeah I had to do everything all over again so it's solved, so the next clip will be me completing the quest. I'm just really stupid sometimes. Sweet, it gave two quest points actually. The experience is nothing really that interesting, so I'm not going to even look that up. But 1.5k, like, pretty much a lot of skills. So there you go. Uh, so we need four more quest points to be able to do while Guthic sleeps. So we will get one from uh, another slice of ham, and then the three quest points I'm going to have to look into where I'm going to get them. So you might be wondering by now, why the hell is he recording with the Java client again? I've had enough of the Java client, I want NXT now. Well, the thing is, recording with the NXT client sometimes is the biggest pain possible because it just keeps deleting my clips. I don't know why, like 90% of the clips just becomes black screen and I don't really like that, but I'm going to try to solve that so I can like have all the NXT clients, content, whatever, you know, all clips be NXT uh, clients. But the thing is, some clips is going to be Java because sometimes my recording program just hates my life and then I have to do it this way. So, eh, you understand the Java clips now compared to the NXT clips. But anyways, this is the another slice of ham quest completed. Yeah, not too good experience, the 3k mining and prayer, you know, nothing interesting there. Also the ancient maze. Never had this, I don't know uh, if it's good or anything, but most likely it's not very good for my level because it's for level 15. But yeah, one quest point, so we need three more. Oh, I leveled, wow, alright, 77 mining, sweet. Uh, Bane or, oh yeah, I only need uh, three more levels and then I can do concentrated gold, which is going to be like easy levels and, and everything, so that's good. And also I should probably get a uh, superheat form, uh, this thing right here. Uh, and if you have that while mining gold, you just get bars instead and you can use that for invention, all that kind of good stuff. So um, overall I'm going to be looking now for quests to get three quest points. And after that I think I'm good with questing for this video. Also dude, look at this, I need to defeat Bork. I didn't know this, but apparently I do need to defeat Bork and I tried to do it. I walked all the way through the Chaos Tunnel and then at the end of it, it was like, oh, but you need to have started a small quest to be able to do this. So I just wasted like 10 minutes of my life doing that. So I need to do that as well, but first off, I want to get 270 quest points. So let's do another quest or two. We will have to see how many I have to do. So I'm going to be doing three parts of the Dimension of Disaster. I've never done this before, so I have no idea how it works. But as soon as I pretty much entered the quest zone, I got one quest point. So I assume it's going to be quite easy to do. And uh, well, I only need to do two more because now I'm, now I'm at 268 quest points. So yeah, let's get into this. Apparently there's only five parts to this quest line, and the first one gave me three quest points. Alright, so that's all I need to be able to actually do uh, while Guthix lives. I also need to kill Bork, but that's just easy to do. 
But now that is done, and I'm actually going to stop questing from now on because I feel like I've done enough questing this video. So it just feels good now that I have 271 quest points actually, so I don't need to do any more quests for Wild Good Thick Sleeps at least, which was the goal for this video to be honest. And yeah, now it's done, so sweet. The 5k crafting experience lamp and 5k magic, I'm not going to do that now, like it just says there, and uh, yeah, that's what I got from the quests. Nothing too great, but the quest points are absolutely amazing. So this is something I really feel like I want to do. Now I want to give a shout out to Mystically for helping me so much with this quest. She did everything for me in this quest and just helped me out in every single step. So thank you so much for all the help and let's get on with the video. So I just completed a QBD Reaper assignment and got 10 Reaper points for that. So I think we're at like 260 something Reaper points. We're getting really close to being able to actually buy a Reaper necklace, which is going to be so good for our Raxor. I haven't tried it ever, even on my main account, but people say it's absolutely amazing. So I'm just going to take their word for it. But I'm also going to try something if this works. It's... I don't think it works, but it might work using an Augmenter on a broken Royal Crossbow. And, you know, if it works... That would be awesome, but if it doesn't work, then I still have to get the last piece. Which was why I actually did that Reaper assignment of QBD as well, because if I did get the last piece, which I unfortunately didn't get, I could use my Royal Crossbow for Araxi again. Uh, I have done a lot of Araxi in this video actually, but I haven't shown anything because all the drops have been really bad, except the ones, the few ones that I did show. But let's see if this actually works now, and it does not. Alright, so you cannot augment broken stuff. To uh, just make it charge with like normal charges, the uh, divine charges, I think it's called. So, but if if it would be uh, completely well, not completely broken, like one percent charged, then you can augment it and then just use uh, these divine charges on it. So, uh, for example, on like noxious items or whatever, you know, maybe this chaotic stuff I could augment and then not have to spend money to. You know what? I should actually do that. I'm going to just augment this, and uh, I don't have to pay money for it. I can just. Um, uh, what is it called? Get these divine charges and then charge it up that way because it costs like two million to um, to repair a whole chaotic staff, which is a lot of money. So uh, that, I think that's that's a good thing to do. I wanted to conclude this video by actually killing Bork, and I'm going to be doing it, but I'm just getting so frustrated. You guys know the Chaos Tunnel. Everyone knows the Chaos Tunnel. It's the most annoying elite clue scroll ever you can get, for example, where you have to search the whole goddamn place. Well, now you need to do a quest, well, a mini quest, you have to go through the entire thing, but you have to actually get to, uh, I think, two different points and watch two different cutscenes, else you cannot enter the boss fight. And you can just randomly get teleported to the most random place in the entire dungeon. And you have to find your way back, and just when you're about to get to the cutscene, it teleports you to the other side of the map again. They did it twice to me, and I'm getting kind of annoyed, and when I was at uh, this thing right here I'm killing right now, I'm killing this wolf, which was a part of one of the cutscenes, actually the last cutscene, I realized I have no runes with me. So you know... I'm going to try to fist fight him, I think I can do it if I use turmoil, like now I'm not hitting anything on this one, but if I turn on turmoil, I might be able to actually kill this wolf, well I mean, I can kill this wolf, I killed the one uh, earlier, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fist fight Bork, I've never killed Bork in my entire life, he has uh, 45k health and can hit like 1.5k, as you can see I'm hitting him more consistently now with uh, turmoil, we will have to see, but I'm going to absolutely fist fight Bork if I die. No problems, it's RS3, so let's do it. I don't even think this is going to be a huge problem because he's weak to crush and I do think that like melee hits hits very consistently when they're weak to crush. You can see I'm hitting like every single hit so I didn't bring too much food so I might get screwed over. I might need to use soul split but the thing is I have my penance aura 13 minutes left so I might be able to just do this and actually kill it. Most likely that's not going to be the case, but we will have to see. I'll get back to you guys with the results. I'm just going to stand here and say that, well, I uh, almost died, but I just survived and it had 30k HP left, so I only got it down like 15k. So that did not really go as, uh, well, it kind of did go as expected, I guess, because <laughs> fist fighting Borg with a huge ass axe. 
it's probably not the best idea. But anyways, I'm going to bring some runes now and not be a dumbass and actually kill the goddamn guy. So uh, hopefully we can do that real quick and not get teleported through the whole dungeon ten times and uh, get everything done for White Guthic Sleep so we can do that quest. Let's just admire this for a second now. After I defeated Bork and this is wrong. Okay, I just got teleported out. Anyways, um, yeah, this is the loot. Five blue charms, seven crimson and two green and then th uh, three gold charms and then one of these uncuts. Now let's take a look at this. All the way down we have everything completed. So actually in the next video I'm going to be completing this quest and I want to try out some tormented demons as well. Hopefully I can kill a few of them. I should be able to with the gear I have. I don't think you need tier 90s or anything like that. Um, so that's going to be cool and if I do get dragon limbs, which is obviously extremely unlikely, but if I do I might actually try to go for a central crossbow over a noxious. But I don't think that's going to happen. So we're going to have to see how that turns out. But we have all the requirements for this quest now. And I am so actually excited to do this quest. Because I've never done it before. So that's going to be very fun to do. But for now, I thank you all so much for watching this video. And I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one guys. Take care.